Just a couple of real guys having a real good time watching movies. Hey folks, if you're thinking of heading out to the cinema this weekend, I saw Office Christmas Party. Office workers host an epic Christmas party behind their boss's back in an effort to impress a client and save their jobs. If I were to be completely objective about Office Christmas Party, I would say that it's a standard Hollywood comedy. It follows the same template as all those Seth Rogen comedies you've been seeing in the last few years. If you've seen the trailer, you know the plot, you can see the gags coming a mile away, and it displays a typical Hollywood misunderstanding of technology whenever it's used for a plot device. I would call it a very standard movie. However, I can't rate it standard because I also spent the entire movie laughing my face off. Now I'm not sure if that's because I really needed it this month or because I just think that Kate McKinnon and TJ Miller are geniuses. Well, maybe they're not geniuses, but they're really funny. Plus, special attention was paid that every minor character, even with a few lines, was played by somebody who was really funny. So sure, this movie has nothing new to offer. Nobody stretches themselves as an actor. Everybody does exactly what they're good at. It's standard in every way, but I was too busy laughing to care. It's outstanding. I had a great time. I highly recommend it, with the caveat that if you're not crazy about Kate McKinnon or TJ Miller, well, you're just wrong. This is your big screen breakdown brought to you by Papa John's. Yeah, remember when we had that strict boss? Oh, yeah. What's the good word, fellas? Production and profits are both up. We are now the leading manufacturers of boom. Don't, don't say the word. Oh, right. Listen, boys. How about we take this to the next level? Let's say a little strategy meeting. Maybe a week's vacation at my beach house. A whole week at the beach? I hope there's time to swim. And look for turtles. Oh, we'll have lots of time for all kinds of recreation. Should we bring our wives? No wives. Some people may see that invitation as inappropriate. Like our wives. Listen, men have been getting away with this stuff for years. She's got a point. What goes around comes around. Like a boomerang. <laughs> Dang it. What just happened? He said the word. Boomerang. <laughs> oh, I had a date tonight too. Hey. Now we can have that strategy meeting. You said you wanted us to put our heads together. Huh? Until next time, we're the real guys wishing you peace, love, and popcorn. Just a couple of real guys. Brought to you by Papa John. Pizza!